Hey, listen up. Today's riddles will help you develop better concentration, boost your analytical skills, and of course, have some fun. Off we go! Can you figure out how to divide a pizza into 8 equal slices using only 3 straight cuts? If you haven't figured out the answer, let me show you. Step 1. Cut the pizza straight down the middle into two halves. Step 2. Keeping the two halves in place, cut the pizza straight down the middle at right angles to the first cut. You'll be left with four equal quarters. Step 3. Pile the four quarters on top of each other and cut through the middle of the pie. You'll have eight equal slices. And depending on the toppings, a really big mess. Now imagine you've got a box with marbles. All but two are blue, all but two are green, and all but two are red. So how many marbles are there in the box? There are just three marbles. One blue, one green, and one red. Four travelers need to cross a bridge at night. Unfortunately, they only have one flashlight. And the bridge is too dangerous to cross without one. It's only sturdy enough to support two people at a time, and it takes each person a different time to cross the bridge. One minute, two minutes, seven minutes, and ten minutes. So, what's the shortest time all four of them need to cross the bridge? It's 17 minutes. Person 1 and Person 2 go first, then Person 1 comes back. Then the person who needs 7 minutes and the one who needs 10 minutes go to the other side, and Person 2 comes back. After that, Person 1 and Person 2 go again, which makes a total of 17 minutes. In this one, there are several four-legged chairs in a room, as well as a few three-legged stools. If one person sits on each of the chairs and stools in the room, then there will be 39 legs and feet in the room. How many chairs, stools, and people are there in the room? There are 4 chairs, 3 stools, and 7 people. Now I've got another tricky task for you. Can you continue this sequence? 77, 49, 36, 18. The trick is that each subsequent number is the product of the digits of the previous one, which means that the next number in the series will be 8. A farmer lived in a small village with his three sons. One day, he gave the guys $100 and told them to go to the market. They were supposed to buy 100 animals for this money. At the market, there were chickens, hens, and goats. A goat cost $10, a hen was $5, and the price of a chicken was 50 cents. The farmer also told his sons that there had to be at least one animal from each group. The guys had to spend all the money and only on buying animals. And there should be 100 animals, not a single animal more or less. So, what can the sons buy? They should purchase one goat for 10 bucks, nine hens for $45, and 90 chickens for $45. Now look at this table. It's missing two numbers. Can you figure out what numbers you should use instead of the question marks? The numbers 7 and 0 are missing. Since the table shows the addition of the numbers in this column, 32659 plus 51847 equals 84506. Now, let's check and see if you can figure out this little poem. There is a word and six letters it contains. Take one away, and 12 is what remains. What word is it?
This is the word dozens. Ooh, that's a sly one. Can you create a number using only the digits 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, and 1? But not everything is so simple. This number should have all 8 digits. You have to make sure that the 1s are separated by 1 digit, the 2s are separated by 2 digits, the 3s are separated by, guess what, 3 digits, and the 4s are separated by you-know-what. This number is 41312432. Wow, that was a tough one. 26 equals 1, 380 equals 3, 244 is 0, and 84 equals 2. What is 288 equivalent to? The answer is 4. The result is equal to the number of circles you need to use to write these numbers. For example, 8 has 2 circles, 0 has 1, and 4 has 0 circles. So, 2 equals 0, and 8 equals 2, which means that 288 equals 4. If you're 8 feet away from the door to your house, and with each step, you cover half the distance to the door, how many steps will it take you to reach the door? Sad news, you will never reach the door. If you only cover half the distance every time you move, then you will always have half the distance remaining, no matter how small the number is. A single white lily grows on the surface of the pond. This is a rare species that constantly breeds, throwing out more and more new flowers. Thus, every day, the surface area of the lake occupied by flowers doubles. In one month, the entire reservoir will be overgrown. How long does it take to fill the entire lake if, initially, there were only two flowers? In this case, it will take the same month minus one day. O, T, T, F, F, S, S, E. All right, look at this sequence of letters and try to find the logic behind it. What letter should go next in this sequence? It should be the letter N. Those are all the first letters of the numbers spelled in order. O is 1, T is 2, T is 3, F is 4, F is 5, etc., etc. So, the correct answer is 9. Three students who moved in together decided to buy a new teapot that cost 300 bucks. They gave $100 each. The seller received $300. But then he found out that the price of the teapot had already decreased. It now cost $250. So, he decided to return the extra $50 to the girls. But 50 is not divisible by 3, the salesman thought. He returned $10 to each girl and put the remaining $20 in his pocket. As a result, each girl ended up giving $100 minus 10 equals $90 for the teapot. It means that a total of $90 times 3 equals $270 was given to the seller. Plus, there was $20 in his pocket, which makes $290. Where did the remaining $10 go? The question itself is misleading. You shouldn't add $20 to $270. The $20 in question are already included in this $270. 250 plus 20 equals 270. This is the amount the girls paid. The total amount of money has not changed. $270, the money the seller got, plus $30, the amount the seller returned, equals $300. After the purchase, the money was distributed as follows. The girls, $30. The teapot itself, $250. The dishonest seller, $20, which adds up to the original $300. 
and the girls never found out. Now, try to think outside the box. How do you divide 188 in half so that you'll get 100? Draw a horizontal line across the middle of this number, dividing 188 in half, and you'll get 100. Twice. A smart trader is traveling from one place to another with three sacks, each of which contains 30 coconuts. No sack can hold more than 30 coconuts. On the way, the trader passes 30 checkpoints. At each checkpoint, he has to give one coconut for every sack he is carrying. Hmm. So what's the maximum number of coconuts he can have with him at the end of his journey? He will have 25 coconuts with him at the end. You need to take into consideration that the number of sacks decreases as he passes checkpoints. The first 10 checkpoints require 3 coconuts each, which empties the trader's first sack. The second 15 checkpoints require two coconuts each, which will empty his second sack. Now he is left with one sack and five more checkpoints. So the five remaining checkpoints will take one coconut each. Therefore, he'll be left with 25 coconuts. And I think I'd find another country to sell my coconuts. The taxes here are too high. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.